here we are over there that's the ben franklin bridge i am in pendreedy park oh there was people over there fishing and i just scared uh today we are going on a scoot and today it's a epic scoot of epic ep ooh, ooh, ep i'm getting ready to say a word that my tongue wasn't meant to say that's proportion oh that's a tough one and uh today we're going on the scoot let's let's clamp in we're we're still on a quest i don't know if you saw an earlier episode of aramingo avenue we're on a quest to buy a school bag with a strap that straps in the shoulder harness uh very tightly and snugly preventing the camera to move We are currently on the Delaware River Trail. You go up in this direction, the direction we're going. You can go to Penn's Landing, South Philadelphia, Delaware. I don't know why you would go to Delaware, but you can. It's an option. Over here is Parks Casino. Or no, no, Rivers Casino. Rivers Casino. It's a casino where you can gamble next to the river, hence the name. Originally, it was called the Sugar House Casino because a few years ago, a few decades ago, it used to be a sugar factory. And every time I bring it up, I always for Jack Frost Sugar Company. I think it might be that. And today, Frankfurt Avenue. We will be scooting a lot of Frankfurt Avenue. It's a very historic street. Uh, I don't know how far down we're going. I'm really giving the scooter a very good test today. I'm a little bit over 50% of power. A little bit over 50% of power. And... Oh, well, that's a fun game. Is it gunshots or was it a construction site with a guy hammering? It's a construction site with a guy hammering. The development of this area along the Delaware River. If, if I took a picture of this street, Delaware Ave, if I took a picture of that five years ago, so much of this construction wouldn't even exist. It's very under undeveloped, underdeveloped. It, um, it's ideal real estate. I don't know if I would want to live in an apartment. Ever. I don't know how you can go from living in a home and then living in an apartment where you got people walking above you. Or, if you're like me, I always had to get the top apartment because I was always, I would go insane if somebody was walking above me. So I always had the top floor. And, uh... So then you gotta lug your groceries up two, three floors. Going on, this is the Delaware River Trail. It's a bike trail. You can take it. I don't know where exactly. I think you could take it near the Walmart in South Philly. That's where I think it's starting. They're still developing it. And it goes through, uh, Port Richmond and... Uh, Taconi, nice trail behind the Delaware River uh, near the Taconi Palmyra Bridge. And this is a nice part. They're working on it. This is the Waterfront Square. These properties have been here for a while. There we go. Delaware River. Kind of dirty right here. Well, I don't know if it's dirty. It's just a lot. Of, well, no, there's a lot of plastic bottles in there. You got, um... Back here used to be the Pen, Penn's Landing Festival Pier. They would have concerts. Um, there was also a Hooters. Well, I think the Hooters was right here. And in that Hooters is where I met Bill Goldberg, who was kind of a dick to me. Shockingly. 
Although I was being a little, I was asking too many questions. Oh, I was supposed to go down Frankfurt Avenue and I'm at Spring Garden Street. Oh boy. Took a, took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Right now, I am at the like Greyhound bus station of Philadelphia. It's in the absolute horrible, horrible location. Um, they have like a bus depot store right there. I guess it's where you buy tickets and then people line up for a Peter Pan bus or a Greyhound bus, whatever. Mega bus, whatever the hell they're called. And it, all up and down this two block corridor. Where are we going? We're going to Frankfurt Avenue. Hello, friend. Or maybe we'll do Under the L. Oh, that might be a good one. We'll do Under the L instead. Well, let's get to the L stop. Yeah, so our bus, our, our Greyhound bus stop is three blocks long. And they're trying to move the bus station even more. Wow. This is some new construction on Spring Garden Street. Look at this. Ooh, Creep Records. That's good to know. That's where the new Creep Records store is. It's a little near 2nd and Spring Garden. If you go down 2nd Street here, there's all types of, like, Coffee spots, dog places, banks, tattoo parlors. Oh, look at this. Old antiques. Oh, this is cool. Reminds me of American Pickers. Oh, look at that old stained glass window. Uh, the, uh, yeah, American Pickers. You ever watch American Pickers? That's a show where these guys would go into places and rip off hoarders. There's a, look at this sign. That has a little bit of rust on it. I'll give you I'll give you twenty five dollars, and then they'll they'll make a deal. How about this? You throw in these candlesticks, and this sign. I'll give you thirty five dollars. How's that? And then they sell it to somebody for four thousand dollars. That and porn stars, American Pickers, very uh, very odd. Yeah, you got a bunch bunch of new construction going down here on Second Street. Uh-oh. Where is the bell? Where shame. is the bell? Give it to him. Shame. Man, double shame. There's a shame. parking spot. Two parking spots. Add it. Just had myself a nice Yoo-Hoo drink. Have you had, when's the last time you had a Yoo-Hoo drink? Remember Yoohoo, it's not chocolate milk, it's chocolate drink. Yeah, over here. This is where Creep Records used to be, right there. They moved down the street because the rent here, the rent just got it got too high. Got too goddamn high, they said. So what they did is they opened up another location in uh, Port Richmond. And uh yeah, there's the pool at the you know at the commons. And they have a playground in here. And we're just trying to get the Frankfurt Ave. That's right. I keep forgetting. We're trying to get a school bag. A school bag with a, like a hiking school bag. Across the street. This was the, uh, a 
Oh, hello, for, hello, scooter friend. There's a, a dog park. And uh, I took Rick the puppy here. Go ahead, friend. Looking this way. Looking this way. Oh, you're. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Go ahead. All right. Here we are. I wasn't supposed to. I was supposed to go this way. This is the longest introduction to the beginning of the video. This is Frankfurt Avenue, and we're gonna we're gonna be doing a lot of it on this scoop. We're gonna be doing. We're gonna be seeing. Uh, in this, we're gonna be seeing East Kensington, Fishtown, maybe Kensington, possibly Port Richmond. And hopefully we have enough battery power and we make it back to the Berg, Bridesburg. And today, this is, we're going to scoop Frankfurt Avenue. We got it, right? Not an ideal place to scoop because you got the cars, you got the traffic, not much of a bike lane. Um, Frankfurt Avenue is one of the oldest streets. Oh, no, no, no. Pardon me. This is the oldest street in the United States. Uh, well, this used to be a bar called the Handle Bar. It was a biker bar. I used to hang out with my... Uh, I had friends who were in a motorcycle gang. Uh-oh. And my motorcycle gang friends... <laughs> used to go to that bar and occasionally I would hang out with my motorcycle gang friends and uh, um, I don't know. they were just dudes they were just dudes on bikes and then we they would ride our bikes they would ride their bikes and I would follow them in my Toyota Corolla good times good times Biker friends. All right. Frankfurt Avenue. A lot of it. That's what we're going to be calling it. This is Frankfurt and Gerard. Is a very popular. And the rock means popular intersection. You got Joe's Steaks. You got the garage bar. You got a Frank Furnace uh, bank from the 1800s. They're doing something with the old elevator factory. Uh, there's a few restaurants. Uh, there's a burger place across the street, Johnny Brendis. It's not only a bar, it's a concert venue. Uh, never saw a show at Johnny Brendis. All right. Hip and trendy, if you Google those words. And I don't know why you would Google hip and trendy, but if you do, Fishtown would be the neighborhood to pop up. Fishtown and maybe some parts of South Philly, Maniunk, Butch from Maniunk, where he's from. That's a very hip and trendy place. And if you see Butch from Maniunk, you would know why. Um, we're not too far from... Uh, Front Street, which Front Street turns into Kensington Ave. But we're going to try to stick mainly on Frankfurt Ave. It's right there, two blocks that way. And then there's a part where Frankfurt Ave kind of turns, and it gets further and further away from Frankfurt, uh, from Kensington Ave. It's like a few blocks away. Right here you have uh, uh, Jinx. That's uh, one of those antique places i think what they do is clear outs i'm not sure if they do it but some of the places in in the, in the area they do clear outs there's a place up here called thunderbird salvage and they do yeah they'll go to your house and they'll clean out your basement for like if say your dad dies and you don't want to clean up all his shit well they they go and they clean it up and if they see anything cool they take it and they sell it in their store like old eagles jackets and vinyl records and it's a great, great spot. This just closed down. This was the old fire department, I think. 
and then it was a bike shop for a minute, and then it was a restaurant, and now it's nothing. For a school bag. I see. I was going to go in here and look for a record. This is Philadelphia Record Exchange. Really good record store. They have um, a lot of good rock. They have everything. All types of music. Pretty good selection. Um, I like when I go in there. They do the thing. My friend Nick, he owns a record store too. Long in the tooth. And, and for some reason, record store people, they always got to play music that, you know, you would never... Just like feedback feedback and somebody yodeling because you know the record store people that's what sometimes when i go to philadelphia record exchange they got a guy they got feedback a person yodeling guy playing an accordion nah man it's avant-garde <laughs> is it is it avant-garde all right we're going past palmer park right here on this street and across the street is saint mary's hospital the hospital was opened up by a Catholic saint, St. John Newman. Uh, the very first brain tumor surgery happened here at Frankfurt and Palmer. I hate when I drive in like South Philly and then you have jerk offs. Like I have a car coming behind me now. So, you know, we'll, do, we'll, go, we'll go down one street. We'll go down one street here. We'll go down to Saviva. And we'll avoid, uh, we'll avoid traffic. Yeah, sometimes if you go to South Philly, Though, uh, oh shit, there's no shortcut. Um, you'll have a jerk off like in the scooter, and he's doing like eight miles an hour on the scooter wearing a helmet and uh, just blocking up traffic. And I, that they're hipsters. Oh, I hate them. I hate them. Yeah, this is a very nice neighborhood. Now, when I when I was growing up in the 90s, this neighborhood was... Uh, middle class. Um, lower middle class, middle class. Some upper middle class. Now, it's a lot of, like, lawyers, kids. Some people still live here from the 90s. I call those people Old Fishtown. They're... Uh, they're pretty magnificent people. Oh, oh the nut hut's open. That's a corner bar. The nut hut. And right here, this is urban exchange and they sell you know used clothes um I, sometimes they have school bags in here so we're gonna see if we can find a school bag. no school bag that store is so cool all right circle thrift sometimes you get lucky you get lucky here this is, this is my favorite thrift store you get records here sometimes you get they always have these bins of just stuff they're throwing out. Yeah, so this is a uh, circle thrift. And there's two stores. This is like where they have all the furniture, bikes, records. And then they have this other store where they have clothes and jackets and there's some knickknacks and Typical thrift store stuff. Here we are. Here's the school bags. And no luck. No luck. This is the Frankfurt Roundabout. Oh, I mean Frankfurt Circle. I forgot. I'm a rebel. I don't call it the Roundabout. We're back on Frankfurt Ave, where a lot of new construction is happening. And also, last time I was down here, I saw a new record store. I wanted to check it out, but I didn't get a chance to. Retro Pilates. Great Cycles. Here it is. 
Shops closed. Uh, shops closed. Oh boy. I feel like this is like DJ music, though. It doesn't doesn't feel like it's my. Uh, might not be my bag. This place here, Thunderbird Salvage. This place is my bag. I love this place, Thunderbird Salvage. Guy has a store here, and then there's another store he has down a little bit more, kind of in the heart of Kensington. And yeah, what he'll do is, he'll sell all these chairs, five dollars a chair. Hello, friend. I see you. was about 50 years old back in the day you would come down to this section of philadelphia and i remember this growing up there was a lot of 1976 shit <laughs> don't want to get too technical but you had you had murals like this i remember the fire hydrants used to be painted red white and blue and then slowly they would get faded or the city replaced them i don't know of any i think there's like one red white and blue fire hydrant still left in south philly if you know of one let me know let's get off triton avenue triton avenue is one of the longest streets of uh belgian blocks all the way down it's not it's not a scootable well, i mean it's it's yeah it's not a scootable street and anyway this video is about frankfurt avenue most of it that's what we're doing Frankfurt Avenue. There's a lot of old storefronts we're passing. Oh, what's this? Po Post Haste. Oh, I hate that sign. I hate that sign so much. <laughs> when you I like to you know, call me crazy, but when I when I read a sign, I like to be able to when I look at a sign, I like to be able to read it. I know, I know, I'm crazy. We're coming up here. This is my uh, my favorite YouTuber, Duncan. Duncan is a dude. He has a barber shop not too far from here. It's, it's actually across the street. And what he does is he cuts people's hair, men, women, children, and he does eyebrows. And you can watch his YouTube channel. You can watch him give people haircuts. And you can also, oh, see, look, go YouTuber, watch video, Duncan Haircut, and subscriber, a subscriber for Duncan Haircut, right? Central Duncan Haircut, right here. And, uh... So what he does is he cuts hair. I think it's I think they're ten dollar haircuts. Don't don't quote me. And uh, he films them, and you watch him cut the hair. That's fun. And then uh, you can also he goes to church. Oh, it's Happy Fourth of July. And uh, you go to church with Duncan. And then sometimes he he uh, he has dogs, and he uh, he he gives his dogs baths. And. Uh, one time, my favorite video of Duncan is when he took his daughter to go get her driver's license, and he filmed people parking during the driving test. So imagine how stressful that must be, and then imagine having just a strange man filming you as you're parking. God, he's the best. I love him. I love him. Duncan. Duncan Central Haircut. I meet him every so often. I see him walking his dog out front. I think, I think he smokes. Very controversial, Duncan. And, uh... I see him and I go, yo! Yo, I, I talk about your YouTube channel and my YouTube channel. Hoping one day he'll, you know, he'll, he'll know who I am. And he just doesn't give a shit anytime I talk to him. Alright, we're at Frankfurt and Lehigh. I got... About 40% of my battery power left. Across the street was the old Kensington Food Op. Right here, this is the 
This is a mile marker. A historic mile marker. And this is how you would know. I think you are either two or three miles from uh, Market Street from here. I think that's what all the mile markers were for Philadelphia. They were all based off of where Market Street was. Go ahead, guys. No, it's your world. I'm just living in it, dickhead. I got this great mural of machete. Right here. I love this. What's this? Danny Trejo, right? That's his name. I saw somebody try to start something with him at a parade occasionally. Sometimes I try to shut my brain off because, you know, the world's going to hell in the handbasket. So I, I, I watch mindless TV sometimes. Like I'll watch um, TMZ. Uh, I just watched a whole episode of Survivor on Netflix. I watched it all in one day. It's the most unproductive thing I've ever done. <laughs> Sat there. I, I used to love Survivor. Such a good show. Okay, oh, Frankfurt Avenue. That's right. All right, so now we're at Frankfurt Somerset. Now, if I go down this way, five blocks, that's Kensington Ave. Um, yeah, you can see where this block ends. That's the Somerset L stop. So that's where everybody's all doing the the Kensington lean and the people are doing their thing. And if you get to this part of Frankfurt Avenue, you, um, you'll see some of that. You'll see, actually, you'll see a lot. Nah, you'll see a lot of it. But usually on Frankfurt Ave, it's, it's pretty clear. It's not. There are some schools on this street. We're in the middle of summer right now, so the schools are in session. Yeah, that Kensington Salvage place, the Thunderbird Salvage, they have this place here. They opened it up in December. And pretty much, I think, when they go and clean up all the basements, they save all the Christmas decorations. And then they open this up, and then they have this special where you, you, get, you buy a, a box for $25 or $50. And you fill that box up with all these Christmas decorations. And then you can you could decorate your whole apartment or your house. And you got some across the street. These are two abandoned properties. You can see the one door is is ripped open. That means people, you can see there's stuff locked in that window. People are probably living inside those abandoned buildings. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Yeah, there's another one on this corner. So this whole block, all three properties are abandoned. Won't be that way for long. They're going to... Uh, they're going to gentrify this area up. They already are. Uh-oh. Got the fire hydrant on. They crack. There's no, I don't think there is a neighborhood pool anywhere around here. So when it gets real hot, the city will crack open the fire hydrants um, as a way for the kids in the neighborhood to beat, beat the heat. And at some places... Um, there's a guy who lives on the block that has the wrench. I think it's usually the block captain is how they do it. And the guy with the who uh, who uh, he has a wrench, he gets to crack it open. And uh, I was always told that sometimes the fire hydrants could run out of water. I don't know if that's true. Is that true or is that like an urban legend? If, if, if you live in a major city like Philadelphia, if you have a fire hydrant running all day, and there's, would you still be, I, I, I don't know why it would run out of water. 
We're not Colorado. We're not Las Vegas. Man, there's so many corner stores in this area. There's no real grocery stores um, like supermarkets. You got some in Aramingo. You got some back in uh, where I started the scooter ride. You'll have some. But most of the people, I guess, they go shopping at the corner store. You get your... Uh, where you get your milk, your bread, your soda. Some of them sell lunch meat. Some of them sell uh, sandwiches. Um, How far down on Frankfurt Avenue are we going? I don't know. I don't know. I think we're going to turn kind of soon. Because the pavement gets really shitty up ahead. There's no bike lane. People park on the pavement. And uh, I, I don't want an uncomfortable ride. So we're going to turn. All right. Where am I at? Frankfurt and Westmoreland. We're going to be going down Ontario Street. Yeah, we'll go to Ontario Street. That's a good idea. Maybe we'll see if the comic book store is open. There's a comic book store on Ontario Street. It's called Ontario Street Comics. It's a uh, you know, comic book store, but it's also a movie location. They filmed uh, a few M. Night Shyamalan movies inside. And here it is, Ontario Street Comics. Sometimes they have a Batmobile parked in their uh, parking lot. They're a pretty fun comic book store. I'm not into comic books. I'm not going to pretend. But uh, they have a thing called Comic Book Day. And these dudes give out free comic books. I think it's a dad and a son who run the place. Maybe two sons. Um, Unbreakable and Glass were filmed inside. I made videos inside the filming locations. Checking out the Wilson Beef parking lot. Wilson Beef. You can buy a case of chicken leg quarters. I think it's 40 pounds. Woo! That was stunt scooting. I don't know if I'm ready for that with this thing. How much is a case of chicken leg quarters? Oh, I don't know. You can buy a case of wings. I'm talking a big case of chicken wings, $60. Can't beat it, gotta buy it. 